Okay, I just did uh, for part one in the Moving Bodies series of tutorials. Um, talked a little bit about the cache top. Uh, I also wanted to shoot this little supplementary one. Uh, another cool trick that's really easy to do with a cache top uh, is a simple time delay effect. Uh, so you can see right now, by default, I laid this cache top in. These are all of the default values that you would see. So webcam is coming in here. Uh, active is on, so it's, it's showing the real-time feed. Um, if I wanted to show uh, a delayed version here, so cache size is the number of frames that it is um, holding on to. Um, and I have 60 frames a second running here. So if I did something like 120, um, that is going to hold roughly two seconds worth of video frames. And we can see um, the past uh, by determining this output index. If I gave it a negative number, this is now showing us the past. So if I did negative 120, so you can see here, great. So this window here is still real time. Cache top is now two seconds in the past. So I just did that and two seconds later, it shows up there. Uh, so really simple way to do that. Um, I could, what if I did something more extreme, right? So that's now six seconds in the past. Okay, there we go. Okay, I do this, and then in 10 seconds, that's going to fill up. Um, so this, this comes at a cost. If I middle click here, um, you know, the cook time is still relatively quick, um, but where you might run into problems is in the GPU memory. You can see I'm storing 10 seconds worth of video frames in my cache top right now, and that is taking up over two gigs of GPU memory. Uh, so that's, it costs, it costs something, right? Um, if I wanted to use extensive use uh, of this, um, what I might do, we have a companion operator called a cache select. So a cache select could use um, a single cache. So for your entire system, Perhaps you have one cache top that is caching frames, and then you want to use it in different ways around your system. Uh, you can then use a cache select, and let's do this. Let's get like a couple of these, let's say. And I'm going to name this something like 10 seconds. Uh, go. OK. And this one we'll call five seconds ago. Uh, so using the same cache, this, this has 600 frames uh, stored inside of it. For this one, I could do negative 120. And for this one, or, oops, no, that was 10 seconds, right? Negative 600, that's going to be 10 seconds ago. And for this one, let's do negative 300. Hello. There we go. Uh, so now we can get a pretty cool system where, you know, I can have multiple uh, multiple moments in time uh, that are showed with these cache selects. This is now I'm doing this. Now, 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 hello. And then in five seconds, it'll show up here. And then five more seconds, it'll show up over here. Uh, so using one cache top and then multiple cache selects uh, can help you kind of uh, optimize. Because we can see here, this actually uses no GPU memory because it's, it's only referencing the cache top and its cook time is very quick. Uh, so another little trick, uh, if you don't need things to be a smooth 60 frames a second on playback, uh, if we see step size, if I did something like six, let's do this. And so it's 10 frames a second. So let's do 100, okay. So what that is doing now Let's make this negative 100. Let's make that negative 50. So now, this is still 10 seconds ago. This is still five seconds ago. Um, but I'm only caching one every six frames. Uh, so if you do the math in your head, that uh, equates to 10 frames per second that I'm caching. Um, and so cache size is 
uh, 100, so 10 frames per second times 100 total, so that's gonna cache 10 seconds worth of video frames. Um, so this is a way that you could cache a greater duration of time, and you can see my, my GPU memory here is a little bit less. So if you can get away with a lower frame rate on playback, then you can experiment with this um, different step sizes here. So obviously this, this has an appearance of, it's, it's a lower frame rate, um, but depending on your use case, that could be cool. So, okay, time delay, easy to do with cache top. Lots of other functions also, uh, this like pre-fill, other things here. Uh, you can check it out in the snippets or some other examples online, cool.